the remnants number 29, how did Jesus reveal the Father? He often spoke of his Father, calling him by name Father. Everyone understands the meaning of Father in every culture. We must, however, take note that this is human language. Because God doesn't have a body. God doesn't have two hands, two feet. But how else are we to express it? And yet, the word contains truth. Because Father here, Christ is the Son. Even the Psalm says, today I have begotten you. To get today in terms of eternity, because with God everything is present. Christ was we often call the word of the Father, a total expression of the Father, as a word expresses totally a concept with when the word is the exact one. He is a total image of the Father. But we we use the word we often think, ah, if you are the father, then you must exist maybe 30 years before your son. Not exactly in this case, because it isn't body and flesh we are talking about. It is a, an order of existence beyond any we experienced ever. But the nearest we can come to it is that concept. When Christ drove the money changers out of the temple, he said, don't make my father's house a place for trade. This is a house of prayer. Indeed, even before that, when his mother and St. Joseph saw him on the third day, they had suffered. You just imagine them uh, not, no longer seeing Christ. They were very distressed. It wasn't a, a stage-managed affair. They really did not know where he was. That's the mystery because why would God allow his, his true mother and his stepfather to suffer so much anxiety? His, uh, we must seek the reply, the, the answer in his reply. His mother, when they saw him the third day, it must have crossed her mind, what am I to do now? This is my God. Can I blame my God? And yet this is my son. I am the mother. <laughs> so uh, she put it very nicely, said, son, why have you done so to us? We have been looking for you, your father and I. She said, your father, you know, you know what else do you want her to say? Your father and I have been looking for you, sorrowing. You would imagine he would say, oh, I'm very sorry. He said, oh, did you not know I must be about my father's business? My father's business. She had said, your father and I have been looking for you. He replies, my father, ah, ah, that's another father then. That's too clear, it's unmistakable. Mm -hmm. He was gently, gently, mm -hmm. but very clearly mm -hmm. telling them, look, I know who I am. Mm -hmm. So we are told they did not understand what he said to them. And Mary kept all these words in her heart. He went back with them. They were living with a mystery. Sure. Did you ever ask yourself whether St. Joseph and Mary didn't look at him one day and almost like to ask him, who are you? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Tell us your mystery. Mm -hmm. So it was unmistakable on his side. Mm -hmm. And yet, in a way that those who didn't have faith might not suspect much. But Mary kept all these words in her heart. If she kept them, and we know who she is, so privileged, who are we to expect to understand everything? She was conceived immaculate. She was mother of God, and she knew that, that she conceived Christ by miracles such as was never seen on earth and never will be seen again. And if she didn't understand everything, who do you and I think we are? <laughs> That's right. So we accept Christ's word, and he, he taught us clearly. He had clear consciousness of who he was. And he made it clear too, to those who were prepared to believe. He didn't have an identity crisis, that's right.